Good morning, you guys. I have my suitcase today because we are going on a cruise and I am so excited. This is our Christmas cruise. So if you guys watch our Christmas vlog, you saw us surprise our family with a cruise for Christmas. But let me tell you guys, when it's Christmas Eve and you think all the way to March, it feels like forever away, but it flew by. As usual, time goes so fast and I cannot believe that it's here. I have all of our luggage here and we are going to take it out to the car and start loading up so we can head out. We have an expedition for this trip yeah, this, and it's looking a little tight this, this time. Bill and I are having a meltdown. It's like a jigsaw right puzzle. Here. Although it's a little smaller I think. It's still a really nice car. So this is our bus to get to the cruise. We are about to head out as soon as we get this luggage situation figured out. On the ship, we are on Anthem of the Seas again, one of our favorite ships. And today's St. Patrick's Day, huge cake. A lot of it's already taken, but look how yummy that looks. That is crazy. We checked in, we did our muster stations, and now we are at the Windjammer. <laughs> and we're gonna get some lunch with the view of New York City over there. Eating lunch at the Windjammer is the best because you have the view of New York City. It's so beautiful. This is our favorite place to come and get lunch on the first day. We are officially setting sail. We are leaving. The car is over there on top of the parking garage. There it is. So our balcony looks off the back of the ship and we'll be able to see the city from the back, which is gonna be really awesome. So we are having a sail away party. And also Sophia is vlogging on her YouTube channel. Yeah. So I'll have to put the link down below for you guys and you guys need to go subscribe and watch her vlog. Here are the people, they're all waving, school, like, beeping. Like when you see on the Titanic, they wave. <laughs> That's so like awesome. That. They have signs and noisemakers down there. Everybody always asks about the statue when people come here and they're like, oh, you know, what, what's the story of the statue? So Russia gave that to us after 9-11 actually. It was a gift from the Russian government, from the United States and it's a teardrop. Very cool, it's super pretty. And that's the nice area where everybody stands to wave goodbye. It's awesome how every time we've left, there's been people here. We've never left without people not saying goodbye. So it's really fun. It gets you super pumped for the week ahead. our first ever balloon drop on a cruise. Oasis has balloon drops, but we've never made it to one. And since it's St. Patrick's Day, they had one on Anthem and it was awesome. And we are all decked out. I happened to pack some green pants without even realizing that it was gonna be St. Patrick's Day. And then Sophia is decked out in her St. Patrick's Day socks. Yeah. Very festive. Will, where's your green? I'm wearing underwear, that's green. Oh, okay, there you go. <laughs> so the balloon drop was awesome. We had a great dinner at the Coastal Kitchen and now we are gonna go shopping and get the kids some new lanyards because the plastic part on the lanyards falls apart and then your key card falls out. Will has a bunch of tape on it. So we have to go get new ones. Mike just walked in and had to ready. show you guys his socks Fully too. Fully ready. Look how 
festive. <laughs> Love the festive socks, guys. As you guys know, we gotta get our room service. <laughs> so we got a bunch of food here. Sophia's chocolate cake looks amazing. Yeah. And Will has his wings. His wings are so <laughs> good. It is our first official day. It is a little choppy out there, but the weather is gorgeous. The sun is out, it's nice and warm. We are about to head upstairs and we're gonna go do a bunch of activities, like probably some rock climbing if it's open. We're definitely gonna do iFly. And then we're gonna do the North Star, which is a big ball and it goes up and you can overlook the ship and then it goes out over the ocean. So we're gonna go have a bunch of fun and I will bring you guys along. Formal night, we are all dressed up. I'm a little sunburned. Uh, half of the family is not here, but the half that is here looks incredible. And I'm gonna show you guys all of our outfits. So check this out. Look how fancy. We're ready to go to dinner. Look how pretty everyone is. Sparkly. And then Mike is very handsome. So we are going to go head to dinner, and I guess we're gonna go see everybody else's outfits and how nicely dressed up they are. Yes, this is one of our favorite rooms on Anthem of the Seas. The whole hallway is so gorgeous down there. Um, but I just wanted to catch you guys up. We had a day in Florida. Mike and I stayed on the ship. He got some work video. done. Yep, edited a cool video. And we just relaxed all day while everybody else got off and enjoyed the beach. And now we are going to go enjoy our favorite Jamie's Italian. Oh my god, look how amazing this Real looks. Good. Is so there this is the cheese? first appetizer. Oh. And then here's the garlic bread. Oh, it's so yummy. All right, the main dish, carbonara. This is the best of the best. It doesn't work. And then chicken parm. The chicken parm. Have some pasta down there. I think everybody else got chicken parm. Oh my god. Ooh, still got the short rib. Oh, Thank you. So good. This is gonna be a great dinner. Just finished dinner and we're stuffed. We didn't even have dessert because we ate so much. But if you guys remember, or if you guys watched our honeymoon vlog, you saw that we ate Italian almost every night on that ship because it was just so fantastic. So we really enjoyed ourselves tonight and we are probably gonna go back tomorrow because it was so good. We are in Nassau and we had to come to the Salty Dog. This is Oatmeal Store. And we're gonna get a few more shirts because Mike needs some backup because it's his favorite shirt from here. Uh, we have a real musician on our hands here. That is talent. Here's Sophia. Awesome band. Can't come to the Salty Dog without getting some ice cream, strawberry cheesecake I got, and then also this fudge looks pretty amazing. We might have to taste test some of this as well. We are now on top of the Salty Dog. You guys must think we're crazy. Salty Dog. <laughs> you must think that we are crazy, but it looks just like oatmeal, so we like to think that this is her store. This is Ernie's shop. <laughs> Michael is wearing his Salty Dog shirt. He actually wears this so often. It's one of his it's my favorites. My favorite cut off of all time. So he had to come and get another one, Got and it's in blue. So it's a little different, but it's really nice. Very exciting. Our genie Elizabeth is the sweetest. Mm -hmm. She had fruit waiting for us once we got back on the ship. And these coconut cookies are to die for. They're always up at the Windjammer, but we never tasted them until yesterday. And now we know that we're obsessed. Well, the grapes are crazy. Are you gonna catch it? Oh! oh! There we go. So we're gonna have some nice fruit with this gorgeous view of Nassau. This is one of my favorite ports just to be docked at because that view is unbeatable. It's absolutely gorgeous. So we have breakfast in the room and we're about to go have a perfect day on Coco Cay.
fantastic day at Coco Cay. We saw sharks, stingrays, pufferfish, starfish. Can you guys think of anything else? We saw so many different things. Electric eel. An electric eel? Where did you see that? I didn't see that. Some lifeguard pointed out and they're like, oh, look, it's electric eel. Oh my God, that's a first. I've never seen an eel at Coco Cay. But Coco Cay never disappoints. It's always amazing and perfect and we always have so much fun. So we had a great day. The weather is insanely choppy though. Like we're falling all over the place with these waves. So some crazy, crazy weather. Sophia has a beautiful dress on. I just did her hair, French braid. It looks so good. William? Ugh. You're not very dressed up, but you still look really good. What's Will always the looks good. <laughs> Will is dressed up for the wind jammer. Sophia and I are dressed up a little bit okay. fancy for the wind jammer, but yeah. it's dress your best. I'm not feeling that great with this ship thing, so I'm just going this way. <laughs> Nance well, looks good in her all black. I love it. Next cruise, we're gonna have to get Will some Hawaiian shirts and get him into the Hawaiian yeah, shirt yeah. style. We are gonna go to the wind jammer for some Chinese food tonight. Very excited for Chinese, Chinese food. It's our favorite food. Well, this is the second time this has happened to us where the ship comes back to Port Canaveral on the way home. Um, because of a medical emergency. There's been a lot of medical emergencies this week. Hopefully everyone is okay and maybe they're just sick. Hopefully it's not too big of an emergency. They didn't have to bring out the helicopter, which is good, but it's definitely a shame to see all these medical emergencies this week. It's pretty crazy. A big thing on Royal Caribbean is to hide and find ducks. This is just a big activity that they do. And our mission tonight is to hide our duck that we were given. So we're gonna try to find a really, really good hiding spot for this little guy. I think we found a spot. Soph said we should put it here. If we just put it through here like this. And then Ooh, that's good. That. So there's our little duck. We'll have to come back tomorrow and see if it's still there. Today is our last day on the ship. We're gonna be home tomorrow. And we've had really bad weather since yesterday morning, which is definitely unfortunate. The ship has been rocking like crazy. Sophia and I are exploring right now. This morning was really bad. Last night was also actually really bad. People were falling, like on their face falling. Scary. People were throwing up. Somebody threw up in the windjammer all over the floor. <laughs> it was disgusting. So it's been, it's been pretty brutal. Um, and we are ready to go home and be with our dogs. So I'm gonna close off the vlog here since the weather isn't too much fun. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.